This little robot can go almost anywhere. Researchers have designed a robotic system that enables a low-cost and relatively small-legged robot to climb and descend stairs nearly its height, traverse rocky, slippery, uneven, steep and varied terrain, walk across gaps, scale rocks and curbs, and even operate in the dark. The team put the robot through its paces, testing it on uneven stairs and hillsides at public parks, challenging it to walk across stepping stones and over slippery surfaces, and asking it to climb stairs that for its height would be akin to a human leaping over a hurdle. The robot adapts quickly and masters challenging terrain by relying on its vision and a small onboard computer. The researchers trained the robot with 4,000 clones of it in a simulator, where they practiced walking and climbing on challenging terrain. The simulator's speed allowed the robot to gain six years of experience in a single day. The simulator also stored the motor skills it learned during training in a neural network that the researchers copied to the real robot. This approach did not require any hand engineering of the robot's movements, a departure from traditional methods. Most robotic systems use cameras to create a map of the surrounding environment and use that map to plan movements before executing them. The process is slow and can often falter due to inherent fuzziness, inaccuracies, or misperceptions in the mapping stage that affect the subsequent planning and movements. Mapping and planning are useful in systems focused on high-level control but are not always suited for the dynamic requirements of low-level skills like walking or running over challenging terrains. The new system bypasses the mapping and planning phases and directly routes the vision inputs to the control of the robot. What the robot sees determines how it moves. Not even the researchers specify how the legs should move. This technique allows the robot to react to oncoming terrain quickly and move through it effectively. Because there is no mapping or planning involved and movements are trained using machine learning, the robot itself can be low cost. The robot the team used was at least 25 times cheaper than available alternatives. The team's algorithm has the potential to make low-cost robots much more widely available.